Officers were called to the 3900 block of Edmondson Avenue around 11 o'clock Saturday night. That's where they found a 21 year old woman, and a 37 year old man suffering from gunshot wounds. Both were transported to the hospital where they later died. Today, I'm announcing federal charges against members of a gang responsible for murder, murder for hire, trafficking in deadly narcotics. Can't come from good, from bad to good, and the bad don't haunt you. It don't work like that. So he did, he, he, he went to a better place, but his past, his past just caught up with him. Like they really took him, they took a big part of me. Like I'm, I'm tired, I'm tired of the killing, I'm tired of everything, I just want my brother back. I just know that I'm never gonna get my brother back. Nick Breed, whose real name is Dominic Gant, shot and killed Sunday night in Southwest Baltimore on Normandy Avenue, the same street where he grew up. Break me down, fill me up. Only God fill me up. Want some knowledge, get a cup. I got the juice like a mason. Ain't sell my soul when they hate me. Niggas can't take me. Ain't nobody gonna remake me. I gotta keep it all safety. All the rules I've been breaking. All the fools like I'm Brady. All the moves I've been making. I gotta get it for me and my wolf for my image. So many times I stood on my own in the don't rap about shit, it ain't my life Don't glorify nigga, I ain't living right I spit that shit for the trenches right They feeling my pain and the trenches tight The Ruger turn brains into oozes and noodles I'm in your dream like that boy Freddy Krueger I get away cause I'm smoother Shoot outs in front of the district's maneuver Dead body smell like horse shit Manure, I'm coming straight from the soil This ain't no script, my life raw I hope this shit get me far I got a passenger swerving the channel Just drive from the sky like tarantulas Bullets come straight to your cranium Bust through your cantaloupe You gon' hope God get your envelope Out to the sky like the telescope, I've been through hell of more. I'm coming straight out of bottom. Of I ain't got time to listen. Took a little time to get it. Took a little time, I did it. Allergic to wasting my time. My time, my time is ticking. Yeah. I ain't got time to listen. Took a little time to get it. Took a little time, I did it. Allergic to wasting my time. I grind, my grind. Cause it's can't turn back. Fell and I got back up. I was right by myself. Who the fuck did help? Niggas on that fake love shit. Watch who you make love with. Can't trust no bitch. I can use the mouth, no teeth. Niggas all mouth, no beef. I went out these streets. I'ma make it out these streets. I know all about these streets. Take a walk by that gray yard, gray yard. It ain't safe by that gray yard. It ain't safe by that gray yard. Where I have been, you never know what I was at. I got zero tolerance, respect my mind, I'm trying to fit. Granny tried to freeze the demon with that holy water. My soul's still burning off a sin of deep up in the water. Yo, 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 what it is, people? We is back. Never day on Keep It G News. And they all we back in Baltimore City, y'all. The highlight of rapper that I don't see talked about, yo, but what he did in a short time frame in Baltimore music history, I don't think it ever can be duplicated, man. Straight up, y'all. And this is a rapper, yo, that I always respected watching this come up and, you know, and I appreciated what he brought to the table, yo, because he brought something to the table that you, you typically see, but it was just the way he delivered it. I haven't seen it since. And for people that's not familiar, I'm talking about a Baltimore rap by the name of Nick Breed. Now, Nick Breed is from the Emerson Village area. We talked about Emerson Village before when I spoke on G-Rock. Actually, Nick Breed came up under G-Rock. You know, G-Rock was repping TRC. At first, 
Nick Breed was repping TRC as well. You understand? Now, I told y'all what happened with G-Rock. G-Rock lost his life to the streets of Baltimore, as did Nick Breed. But in this video, we're going to talk about Nick Breed's career in music and what he brought to the table and how his life is tragically stopped in the streets of Baltimore. So what y'all just watched in the early the beginners was clips of Nick Breed, some of his latest, well, not latest, but some of his music he dropped before he his untimely death. You know, I did it. Graveyard. I'm talking about y'all. These songs is Baltimore classics. And if you ain't from the city, go back and check them out. I'm going to play some more clips for y'all later on in, the, in this video. But go back and check them out. I promise you. You're going to be like, yo, keep it G. I don't think I stirred y'all wrong yet. Let me know in the comments, man. Is any of these artists who I told y'all to check out that's not from the, ba the Baltimore area or the DMV area, have I stared y'all wrong yet? Let me know. But Nick Breed, man, he brought something dynamic to the equation because he spoke, he spoke to the pain, man. And the way he did it, it was almost like a harmonizing way. And he had the ability through his lyrics to pull you in, especially if you knew a little bit about him on the other end. You understand? Him as a person, you know. That's the thing, y'all. And I always talk about this on my channel. I believe you got to have a better understanding of who these rappers are personally. Don't always get caught into the music, yo, because the music can trick you. You know, somebody can put out great music, but you find out he's a horrible person. I know me, that's a drawback. You know what I mean? I can't rock with nobody music that I don't think I could rock with them if they was in my face, if you understand what I'm saying. But Nick Breed was killed in Baltimore, and how he was killed was crazy, you know? And at the time, yo, I don't think if you weren't from the Emerson Village area, you wouldn't have saw this coming. Not this way, not in a man that happened. But before I get into the death of Nick Breed, I want to shine a light on some of his music. Stay on my show, bitches, they stay on the bitches. Nigga, act just like a bitch, and I'm getting this money, saving the hundred and fifties and hitting them all with the twenty. So where were you? Where were you? And I needed my niggas, they know they can call when they need me. Believe me, my nigga, we always succeed. We're keeping the score, cause I know that we need yeah. We win and we win, and they think that we cheating. Yeah. I know my ass sick, and she fucked up, she need me. I know my ass sick and she fucked up, she need me Just one less bitch, I ain't gotta believe in Never wanted the fame, I was just trying to get it And I hit you up with the blame Forget a lord, cause I done seen it I be coming with pain, but I feel blessed cause I repent Don't you go speak on my name Unless you want the opposite Deep in the water, we're swimming I swim to the shore, independent I chasing the women, but getting my throw in the bin Like I'm fishing, I gotta get me as a trap I'm way out the trenches, fell in some ditches My niggas was turning to snitches But I got the gimmicks to kill him, it's none of your business You don't even know when I'm guilty Who was my idol when it's for real? I had asked you about them rumors, you said they wasn't real I told you I got problems, I gotta watch in the field You told me I rap about it, one day I get a meal You ain't tell me about that shit, you had me rapping for real Niggas out here saying you ratting, ain't nobody get killed You told me it was just us and I was rapping the veil Niggas told me not to trust you, you betrayed it to feel My niggas be sliding, stalking shit, cause them niggas be hot And popping up, we be giving surprises You stuck, to the L your ties Hit a nigga like a blunt and that fire Niggas snitching, they be singing like Bullets hit you in the field with your why Down the district, they gon' know that you died Make my rollie got diamonds, I stand on my own and you know this I come from the bottom, I go make an M and I'm never gon' go back broke shit Gon' take my fam and go blow the seeds I'm stuck in the I'm not selling diamonds and seed, now these diamonds are quarter key Niggas tell me to turn my savage up, if I could I would Put them ratchets up, my life a movie and I'm acting up The street niggas so clean, I'm up Through them bars, still in just open shit up like bowling balls You killed that nigga, no I did Every time a nigga lose his life, they say my name, nigga I keep my head held up to the sky, remain the same, nigga We lost Eddie G and my own niggas put my name in it I ain't no referee, I ain't no witness to no scene, nigga They don't understand how I'm surviving all this pain in me I'm gon' let it out on every beat, every 16, nigga They want me to swallow every bit of a 16, nigga. I just get rid of the product, come from the village, I kill a designer Hit a nigga, take a trip to the island Driving money cause he ain't but the violence Book for shows, trying book us for bodies Free my bros, that's the book for them bodies. My niggas like son, we bout to make it a stunt Killing these niggas for fun Every day I wake up, blessings get dressed And throw on my weapons, surrounded by all corruption So thankful I ain't corrupted So thankful I had to struggle Was always forced to make doubles Whoever thought that I bubble I know it cause I can hustle Keep it 100, the love I got with
Exposure. Never be something I'm not, not even when I'm supposed to. You never fucked it with me, my nigga, you was told to. Look how I'm keeping it real, just getting the money. I heard they hating, I don't care. All of my niggas, we right here. I was just broke this time last year. Now I got all of this cash here. Bad bitches on my swag now. Know that I got me a bag now. I cannot fuck with no damn clown. Niggas snitching, then we busting your head. Been his weight ever since we was kids. As my man, we used to bring in your crib. I'm so little, I'm gonna come through the window. Everything we gon' split. Down the middle. Fat boy used to give us the skittles. He didn't have a long career musically. You know, he don't even got no interviews, which is crazy. I know he went up to um, Detail R Radio. He did the thing with Jay Hill. But as far as interview wise, if he had some, it's not on the internet no more because I look. But he had a relatively short career, similar to somebody like King Von. You know, and I think Nick Breed, not saying him as a person, but. Just his music career was similar to King Von's. He wasn't a rapper. You know, Nick Bree wasn't rapping very long to my knowledge. You know, I, I could be wrong. But if you go down this catalog, it's very short. He don't have, like, some of these rappers. You go back, like a YG Tech. You got videos of Tech rapping when he was 17 years old or however old he was. Other rappers, even um, NESG Chaz. You got pictures and audio and video when they was rapping back in the day. You don't really have that with Nick Breed. You got maybe a two-year grace period where he took it from here to there. And he almost got there. Typically, when you talk about Baltimore rappers, and this is the sad reality is, a lot of our rappers or a lot of people in Baltimore period lose their life relatively early, more than likely in their 20s, early 20s. And that's what's happened with Nick Breed. Died at 24 years old. And... It's a message with this video, so you got to watch from start to finish, yo, because I think there's so much we can learn from the death of Nick Breed. And I'm just going off the information that we got now. For the people knowing personally, I'm going off what the news is reporting and what came out in the documents when he had the indictment of the NFL. Federal agents here in Baltimore have broken up a group calling itself the NFL Gang. It allegedly dealt in drugs, weapons, and death. This gang had nothing to do with football. NFL actually stands for Normandy, Franklin, and Loudoun, streets passing through Edmondson Village, where the gang spread terror and murder. It was May of 2018, as children prepared to leave the Mary E. Rodman Rec Center in southwest Baltimore, when shots rang out near the basketball court, killing a 16-year-old boy. It is a war zone, especially when you got guns and the wrong people hang. My son and my daughter loves to come over here to the wreck, and they don't want to come back. 33 count indictment of 16 members of the gang, which has brought it to its knees. NFL gang members committed murders in furtherance of their enterprise. This week's indictment charges four murders and one attempted murder committed by NFL members. According to the indictment, the gang also threatened, tampered, and even ordered hits on witnesses who threatened to expose them. And it dealt drugs laced with fentanyl that led to five fatal overdoses and nine others while supplying addicts throughout the region and even in nearby states. In our investigation focusing on the NFL neighborhood, so far we have seized more than 25 guns, more than two and a half kilograms of fentanyl heroin, just for reference purposes, that's enough to kill more than a million people because as little as two milligrams of fentanyl can be lethal. We've also seized more than one kilogram of cocaine base. Gang members threatened and tampered with witnesses, including by outing them on social media. And the gang's age group ranges from 21 to 62. Now, 2020, federal government indicted NFL, you know, normally Franklin and Loud. From the Emerson Village area. Now, people that's not familiar with the Emerson Village area, that's a southwest Baltimore neighborhood. You know, really think it's really a west Baltimore neighborhood. And if you're not from this area, you can easily get lost in Emerson Village because it's a whole bunch of one ways. <laughs> I mean, I used to have my aunt, I used to live on Lenhurst and Flowers, and so I'm pretty familiar with Emerson Village. And you will get lost. And those streets get very dark at night. You can find yourself in a tight spot if you go down there and unfamiliar. You know, I actually know somebody that lost his life riding through that area. Not where Nick Breed was from, but the Emerson Village area. Unfamiliar. It can happen. You know, this is Baltimore. This is one of them cities where people is on point.
and they watching cars. And if you riding around spinning blocks and keep going up and down the street, if you don't announce yourself and don't know nobody and don't a person know the car, things can happen. Whether it's right or wrong, hey, more than likely it's wrong, but can you blame them? You're talking about a city where it's hundreds of murders every year. Neighborhoods where it might be 20 people get murdered just in that neighborhood yearly. So everybody's on edge. Now, we know that from what I said in the beginning that Nick Breed was NFL. But he wasn't caught in this indictment because Nick Breed lost his life in 2018. The NFL guys didn't get indicted until 2020. So in a two-year time frame, Nick Breed murder went unsolved. And if you wasn't in the Emerson Village area or just in the know, and this one of them situations I didn't know, I was surprised when Nick Breed was murdered, you know, because I heard the story just like a lot of people. Nick Breed was a respected guy in that community. So for Nick Breed to be murdered there, it was like, damn, what the fuck happened? Like, it didn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. And it probably don't make a whole lot of sense to y'all now. Y'all probably wondering, what does the NFL indictment have anything to do with Nick Breed murder? Well, if you listen to the federal government, they say that Nick Breed was murdered by guys that was part of the NFL. Federal game. prosecutors say NFL placed a bounty on Gant when he was gunned down on October 21st, 2018. Another member of the organization said in a wiretap phone call the deed was done. We got the rapper out of there. A new federal racketeering indictment against the group was unsealed this week. Time reputed members of NFL, which refers to the streets Normandy, Franklin, and Loudoun streets in Emerson Village, to multiple killings as well as drug overdoses across the region that they say trace back to his drug product. Prosecutors are set to announce the case at a news conference in Emerson Village on Thursday afternoon. The indictment says members of the organization knew the drugs they peddled were particularly potent. One member's own father fatally overdosed off them. That killed my father, Dante Bennett said on a wiretap phone call. God damn it, that's crazy, yo, responded Gregory Butler. The new indictment places Butler at the top of the drug organization and the man behind the group's contract killings. Prosecutors say... Butler offered money to kill William Epps, who he believed was cooperating with law enforcement. Another man, James Bud Roberts, recruited people to carry it out, according to the indictment. Epps, 37, and a woman named Jeremiah Harper were both gunned down on January 16, 2018, as they sat on a porch in the 3900 block of Emerson Avenue. When Butler came to believe that Gant wanted to avenge Epps' murder, he had Gant killed, prosecutors say. Another murder of 33-year-old Leonard Shelley followed 10 days later on October 31, 2018 inside a convenience store. Prosecutors say Darian Butler and DeAndre Pearson carried out the killings, with Darian Butler posting his cash payment on Instagram. Other plots followed. Prosecutors say the group sought to kill another NFL member while he was incarcerated at Chesapeake Detention Center, paying another federal detainee to commit the killing. On January 3, 2019, they also had someone shot multiple times outside a federal halfway house, prosecutors say. The new indictment also tracks an array of drug overdoses from Mel R to Prince Frederick VA, some of them fatal. Gregory Butler and 22 others were charged in 2019 for distributing heroin, fentanyl, cocaine, and crack cocaine in Maryland and Virginia, West Virginia, and Pennsylvania. Five of the defendants were from West Virginia, two others were from Virginia. The number of people charged in the case has since grown to 31, and at least 14 have pleaded guilty, including Bennett, who was recording saying the group's drugs led to his father's death. Darian Butler is already serving 12 years in state prison after pleading guilty to two handgun cases last year. Now, if you listen to the federal government, Nick Reed was murdered by his own people. Now, this happened in 2020 where these indictments came down. Most of them guys even pled out, I think, one of them caught 30 years, one of them caught 29, and... You know, it was a lot of people arrested. It could be some even home right now. But the federal government say Nick Breed was murdered behind a situation that happened in 2018, just right before he got murdered, where another guy by the name of Wilbert Epps, you know, people in the neighborhood, I guess, the guys he was hanging around with, the guys that he was affiliated with, thought he was a rat. And they knew that he had a close relationship with Nick Breed. I'm just giving you all the information that was being presented that he had some type of relationship with Nick Breed, and they thought Nick Breed was going to avenge his death. Now, I don't know if that's the truth or not, but that's what was uh, presented at court, so that's all we got to go with. But, 
That's what they're assuming, or that's what they're alleging that happened in this situation. But it's so much you can learn from this because it's two things. You got Wilbur Epps. Now, I don't know if he was a snitch or not. But a lot of times when you do these things, you know, you become a cooperator. You put other people's lives in danger, you know. Especially when you're one of the ones that you was involved in streets yourself. Now, I ain't saying that, like, I don't know Shorty, so I don't know if that's his case. But when you're involved in street activity yourself and you catch some type of, you know, some type of bit, you get caught down bad, you get locked up for whatever reason. When you decide to implicate other people, now you got everybody in danger. Now, they saying that since he told, they thought um, Nick Breed, which is Dominic Gantz, his real name, they thought he was going to retaliate. But this is what happens when you don't be up front with everybody. You know, if you're involved in something like that, you need to let people know. Now, there has been times where the streets made mistakes. I know a few situations where people just insinuate that you're telling and they react off that. As wrong as it may be, it happens. But this is also a situation where Nick Breed, you know, if the rumors is true, you know, he was one of them guys. He was one of the members. Nick Breed was a real guy, even though you hear that he was trying to change his life. You heard his girlfriend speak to that, you know. Sometimes your past will come back to get you. And I always talk about it's better to be slept on because when you got a history of violence and people know this, people tend not to play with you. And that could have been, not saying this is a fact, but that could have been what led to the death of Nick Breed. He might not want, he might wasn't going to react at all. You know, he might have felt the same way, but people don't know that. And a lot of times, if you got a history of violence, you got a history of being on that, people ain't going to play with you. And just from the outside looking in, that could be what happened, man. But I wanted to do this video to highlight Nick Breed's career, because Nick Breed, it was a short career, but he put a lot of work in. He was climbing. You know, he came up under G-Rock, branched off, did his own thing. He was dealing with Skola for a minute. I don't know what happened there, but he started doing his own thing. He was elevating. He put out great music. If you haven't heard it, check it out. But I just want to say rest in peace to Nick Breed. Rest in peace to anybody that lost their life throughout this, you know, because a number of people lost their life throughout this whole situation. You got Wilbur Epps. You got the girl he was with. You got the 16-year-old that was murdered at the um, rec center. You got the death of Nick Breed and a few other people. But let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. It's another day, keep it G News. Nigga can't do what I do, y'all niggas can't yeah. copy me. Let's keep shit G. Yeah. Let's keep shit G. Yeah. Let's keep the shit G. Let's keep shit G. Yeah. Let's keep shit G. Yeah.